Hey, how's it going and welcome along. I'm Rory from Rate My Funeral. That was Rate, by the way. So welcome along to this. It's a tech review video and I've got a really cool, interesting toy to play with today. So this is the Space Mouse Wireless by 3D Connection and it's 3D Connection. It's an X because it's cool. This is an interesting little toy. So basically the idea is it's another mouse that you have on the other side. So you use your normal mouse for interacting and clicking like normal, but then this replaces the keyboard. So instead of using shortcut keys to move the camera around, you just use this and it allows you to move fully in 3D space. So it sounds like a really good concept, but does it work? I assume so, otherwise why would they make it? <laughs> But that's not the point. So I want to find out what it's actually like. Now, it's apparently really easy to use. It comes with a little carry case in case you want to take it around with you. It's wireless, as that, that's, in the, that's in the name, to be fair. Let's get it open and see what it's like. Ooh, that's, that, that's, what's, that's what's inside there. So it's a, one of these little pulley outy jobbies like that. We have our doobry there. And inside the bottom, we've just got a couple of cables. Well, we haven't got a couple of cables. There's, there's a cable, I don't know what I'm talking about. So there's a cable plus uh, the dongle. And interestingly, that is a USB micro. And I have to admit, I was expecting a USB-C. Shouldn't really matter because it's only for charging it, but I was just, yeah, I'm so surprised. Okay, so this is our kitty here. Sure enough, it is in its little case so you can keep it nice and neat. And I'll tell you what, you don't notice it in the case, but when you feel it, it's actually it's quite weighty because it's got all the weight at the bottom, assumingly so it doesn't slide around on the desk while you're moving it. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. And it's kind of got a, a nice tactile twangy feel. So initially this feels really nice. It feels like a nice, solid, sturdy product. It feels like it could take a bit of punishment. You've got a couple of buttons on either side. There's an on-off switch there and the uh, USB socket. And yeah, it's, it's, it feels nice. This is quite difficult to explain to a camera the feel of something like this. So really what we need to do is get it into something and actually try it. Now it supports all of the main players of the software. You know, you've got like your blenders, your Fusion 360, your 3D Max, your Cinema 4D and all of that. But I'm currently working on a game and I'm using Unreal Engine 5. To me, that's a perfect test. So let's get this installed, get the Unreal Engine plugin installed and see what it's like. Ah, hello. So welcome to this side. So here we have uh, the computer setup and everything, and that is how the setup's gonna work. So a normal mouse here, this one is here. Now I need to get it installed. Now I don't wanna get in too much into the nitty gritty, but what I've read on the website is that if you want to use this with Unreal version 5.2, you need to install the driver for this after you've installed Unreal. Now obviously I've already got Unreal installed, so that's not a problem. So I'm gonna download the driver and I'm gonna install it from the website here. Then we'll see what happens next. Great. Okay, so this is the installation and here what we can do is drop down this advanced settings and we'll see all the different bits that it's going to install. So Acrobat 3D, Photoshop, AutoCAD, Cinema 4D, all these different ones. But now most importantly, down here we've got one for Unreal Engine. So I'm just gonna leave it all as is and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit install. Okay, so that has apparently installed successfully. I have a, a new little menu up here. It's quite interesting. So trainer. So let's have a quick look. See what trainer is. The right. key to all 3D connection navigation devices. Uh, is the she's talking to me. Right, stop a minute. So we have our little dongle here. Let's pop that into the USB. And we'll switch it on by the little switch on the back. Cool, so we've got a glowing blue and a green light on the front to let us know it's good. Okay, so uh, this is quite fun. There's this little training module on here. Move the model up and down. It'll waffle on a little bit, but it allows me to kind of, you know, I can come in here and do, it tells you off if you do stuff wrong. Um, we can zoom in and out, look, and uh, we can try spinning it. We can tilt it and we can roll it. Now the one that's acting weird is this up and down. So I can move it down by pushing up, but if I pull back it, oh, it's working. Oh, wait, hang on, what? Leave the model up and down by moving the controller head up and down. In the process, how did I do that just then? Or move the controller left or right. Oh, oh, wow, right, okay. All right, so come on this journey with me. I didn't realize this. This is physically lifting it up and down rather than pushing it backwards and forwards. That's why I was struggling with this one. So, <laughs> so now, now I get it, right, okay, so, okay, okay. So up and down, 
Yep, you physically lift it up and down. You don't push it forward. So with this, I imagine that there's a certain amount of muscle memory that you've got to somehow force yourself to change. But it's really interesting. It's an exciting and, and different approach. I like it a lot. All right, so what you're saying is I can now, I've got free reign to move the teapot around. I can kind of get an idea of, of how, I, how it works. And it's really weird. Like you can see the way I'm just sort of spinning this around. I, I, it definitely feels like it would just take a, a little bit of getting used to, but it's kind of cool. So yeah, I, I, I think I could, yeah. Oh, I really like it. So if I, <laughs> I don't know why I find this incredibly fun. Right, so quite a lot to unpack here. The first point I'll just mention, so what I'm playing around in here is the bonus level inside of the game. The bonus level in this game is a big museum. It's every chapter in the game is represented by a room in the museum. And it's somewhere you can walk around and see kind of things that you've unlocked as you've gone. So it's kind of one of those. So that's what we're playing with. But the point here is actually this dude here. So I'm now using this to move around. Now, as I mentioned before, this is a huge departure from what I'm used to. And I'm literally fighting muscle memories. Now, after spending just a few minutes with it, I'm starting to get to grips with it. So let's just say, for example, here, I wanna fly over to this boat and I wanna just look around it. So what I do is I gently push forward. You don't tilt it forward because that's what rolls you. And it's the same with, um, if, you, if you do that, you'll sort of roll back on yourself. So it's quite hard to explain, bear with me. <laughs> so yeah, so just after just a, a short while of playing with it, I, I'm now kind of starting to get to grips with flying around things. And see, now I can come around and look around the boat and move away from it and, and so on. And, and that's really cool. But definitely for the time being, I would be faster without it. But I feel like if I got used to it, I would be faster with it. So just to, uh, we've got two buttons on the side. So if we press this button, then it give. Oh, hello. I've, ah, because I've got something selected. It, it zoomed me in there. Look, see, now there's an important point. Now, just without really even thinking, I just got back to where I was. Now, when I first started, I couldn't do that. I got a bit lost and confused. Whereas now, just without thinking, I just got back to where I was. I'll tell you how I can liken this, right? If you drive an electric car and it has regen braking, this is the equivalent of that, I, th I think. I, I might be wrong. Because I drive with regen braking, if I now drive a car that doesn't, I constantly nearly go into the back of things expecting it to do it. And it's just muscle memory. And that's this. I, it's just taking me a minute just to get my head around it. But it, it'll get there. It'll get there. This, this button here. So if I click on an item and then press the button on the right, I can choose, let's see, the different views for that item. It's not really very helpful in this case because of the fact that there's so much other stuff floating around. So that's probably a pretty rubbish example. But I do suspect you can um, adjust that. The other button on the other side chooses the speed. So at the moment, I think I'm set to low speed. So yeah, so it's moving around quite slowly. If I need to get somewhere quick, I can choose fast speed. And yep, wee, there we go. We can, we can whiz around. Oh, wow. There we go. Wee. There we go. There we go. Right. And we want to flip up. We're now upside down. There we go. There we go. You're all right, Eddie. Right. There we go. So I'm actually going to go. I'm going to go back to low speed. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, hello, everybody. Right. So there we go. We're back in and we're moving around. Right. Good. What was that other button? So we've got properties. What does this do? Oh, this lo loads this guy here, does it? So uh, advanced settings buttons. Oh, there you go. So we can actually choose exactly what it does. That's excellent. Oh, so you can have it so it launches an app, I guess. So you can customize the buttons on the side, which is good. So you can make them do whatever it is you want. So on the left, we've got settings. On the right, we've got views. Now, because I don't really use views, I probably wouldn't have that. I'd probably have something else, but that's cool. It's good to know. Advanced settings, object mode, drone mode. So yeah, in here, you can customize it and speed. Yeah, to be fair, again, this feels like this is another thing that I would probably do is customize some of these. So maybe the tilt, the rolling was a little bit slower. So maybe I would, you know, slide the rolling down just a little bit and, and stuff like that. But the idea that you can kind of customize it all is really good. I'm going to just try and do a quick fly through. So I'm just going to try and fly back to another area. So I'm going to come over this way. I want to go back to the very first area, which is through here. There we go. So this is our first area. I want to fly up. I want to turn around and look. I want to fly out that way. Yep. Fly this way. And then I want to turn around and go back. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So there you go, that is the Space Mouse Wireless by 3D Connection. To be honest, it's very cool. 
it's got a learning curve. You've got to learn how to use it. And I think that if it is something you spend some time and you practiced and got used to, you could really speed up your workflow and it could make you almost feel like a superhero because you'll be whizzing around and controlling everything really, really easily. Now, I can do that on the keyboard right now. Don't get me wrong. However, this just gives you that little bit more flexibility when it comes to moving in 3D space, which I really like the idea of. So I now need to spend some time with it. I'm going to spend a lot of time with it. I've still got lots of work to do in the game and I'm going to get used to it. And if you're interested to see how I'm getting on with it, make sure you subscribe because I will put up a follow up video showing my progress and seeing how we're getting on. So just quick thank you to 3D Connection for sending me this to have a play with. It's a nice bit of kit. I really like it and I really appreciate you sending it to me. If you are interested in one yourself, head down into the description. There's a link to show you where you can pick one up. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you press the like button. If you're not subscribed, consider hitting the subscribe button and clicking the little bell will let you know when I put up new videos. And if you want to see my progress, it's well worth doing. And that is basically it for this video. So all that's left for me to say is bye for now.